What's up, y'all? This is Coach Max from the Scorpion Academy. I am the founder of the Scorpion Academy. What is the Scorpion Academy? It's a basketball school development and conditioning for basketball players. So I'm a trainer. I train people uh, to become the best basketball player they can be, you know. So I guess you, you already know where that come from. So, yeah. So just to let you know. Uh, I'm a trainer. I'm in Montreal, Canada, six hours away from Toronto, home of the champions, Raptors. So, um, yeah, we do play ball over here for those who, who are asking. And we have great potential and we have great players. A few of them from Montreal are actually in the NBA. So we do have ballers here uh, for those who are asking. So, um, what I'm trying to do now, well, officially, officially, first thing first, this is uh, the launching of the YouTube channel for the Scorpion Academy. And what we are going to do is that we're going to talk ball. We're going to talk about how to approach the game, how the preparation and how to approach training, practices, workouts. Why? Because uh, I believe there is a mental aspect sometimes uh, especially f young kids, adolescents, uh, high school, uh, college. Sometimes they have, um, uh, they, they, they're too nervous, they, they're too stressed, and they, they, they can't even perform on the court, you know. And even though two days ago uh, we were training, we were practicing, we were doing all these workouts, and everything was fine. And anybody who could have stepped uh, inside the gym, that person would would have said like, Whoa, that kid's good, you know, because it's not about the potential. It's not about the skills. It's a mental aspect, a mental preparation that they that sometimes uh, is stopping them to perform during the game. So they cannot be the player that they want to be. They are not able to show the skills that they want to show because too nervous, too stress, you know, anxiety. And they they. There's too much noise, the coaches, the referees, the crowd, the defender in front of them. All that stuff is hard for them to process during the game. So they cannot be who they want to be on the basketball court. Um, I wanted to do something different because, you know, when you go on, on uh, any uh, social media uh, with trainers showing workouts trainings and everything which is super cool super nice uh i believe that it's important sometimes to have that conversation with the players uh, the person that the the people that we train and ask them like do you have something that you know bothers you when you you getting getting ready for a game is there something that you you worry about or are you afraid of something do you have fears um prepping for the game because game time you know what it is you step on the court and you have to win the game right so all that is stressful uh it's good stress sometimes when you are like you know you're hyped to play the game but sometimes if if ever it's fear that's taken over well fear will will take over your whole body and then you won't be able to, 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 to show the world what you are capable of. So that's what we're going to do. That's what I'm going to try to do with you uh, in the next videos as well. I think it's going to be fun and even interesting as well. I'm going to give you a few tips on, you know, how to, to, to prepare yourself. Because me, even though as a young kid, I had real problem dealing with crowds. You know, I was afraid of crowds, people watching me. I'm like, why are the, all these people are watching me? So you step on the court and you you have all these people staring at you and you feel that you, the scrutiny is like unbearable. And then it's hard for you to play, you know, or uh, if you miss a pass, you miss a layup, you can hear the laughters and then you just shrink, you know, and that's something that some, a, a lot of players do have and maybe they they don't talk about it they just don't you know they just don't they just want to stay like proud and say no i i got this i got this but you know there's ways to 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 overcome that 
and I want to talk about it. I think it's going to be fun. So that being said, don't forget to put your likes, uh, notifications, subscribe, and get your popcorn ready. Here we go. We're back. We are back. First thing first, I want to thank my people, my brothers that you see on the video, that those are the guys that I've been rolling with for decades and still balling, as you can see. So thanks to Uncle Drew, Chaz, Sweet Pete, Sony Black, Bad Man Stevo, uh, Carlito just came into the roster, but he's balling. He's doing that Draymond Green stuff all, all the time. Shout out to my man as well. Uh, chemistry is the key, guys. You know, when you want to build up a team, you have to make sure that the guys that you, you roll with, they're going to roll with you as well. That's super important. And those guys, they roll with me, I roll with them, and it makes a tremendous difference on the court because that chemistry is there, you know? We're going to talk about that eventually, but... And I want to give um, a big thanks to uh, One Punch, a.k.a. Ali, you know, for getting up on a Sunday and coming and be able to, 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 to film those videos. That was super cool, man. So thank you. Um, so yeah, back to what we were saying regarding the, the preparation guys, it's, it's, it's something that you need to understand. Don't think it's, it's a, it's a, it's an easy way because you have talent or you have skills. Cause like I said, I, I've known players who, who had tremendous talent, but people call them like, oh, he's just a practice guy, you know, cause game time, he, he can deliver, he chokes. You know, but it's it's hard to say that. It's 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 harsh as well because that person that you're just calling a practice a practice person probably have that mental ba barrier that that's stopping him from being who he wants to be on the court, and the preparation helps because, like I said, I I had those the the, the same problem as well and. Uh, I had to, 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 to put my mind like I were somewhere else. I had to put my mind like I was actually on a court with thousands and thousands and thousands of people watching me. And I, I had to simulate that in my head and act like I'm in the actual game. Cameras were rolling, coaches there, celebrities. As stupid as it sounds, I had to, to, to put that in my head to be able to perform after that to say okay all these people are there they all they, they all there i have to play now i have to play and no it was not easy because i was voluntarily putting myself in the stress that normally you know it's a practice i'm just training i'm just working out by myself but in my head i'm somewhere else you know i'm somewhere else with the crowd, the noise, the music, and the pictures, people are taking pictures, and I had, I had to put my mind somewhere like that to be able to go over that, some sort of fear that I had of the people to be able to play and to make a difference. That, that was the goal. Otherwise, None of that would have worked. And I wouldn't be here with you guys to talk about it because I would be like, eh, eh. So it's important to, to, to face that and say, look, I want to be a basketball player. I know I have the skills. I know I have the talent. But there's a few things that making me taking setbacks and doubting myself. You know, you're doubting yourself because you don't have that mental toughness to push you and say, you know what, don't, don't listen to them, don't listen to him, don't bother wasting your time with that, just do what you have to do, you know, and 
put yourself in all, always like in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a positive mental aspect because you need that. That's what you need. Because I have kids that be like, oh man, yesterday I didn't sleep well. And today we're playing games against those guys. They're so tall. They're so big and muscular and I'm too small and everything. Those are the messages that goes through your body, through your muscle, and your body will respond because you had those mess those negative messages and your body will will respond as the man so if you send all these negative messages to yourself your body will react as you are nobody you're not important you're not a good player and it's going to reflect on your performance on the court eventually what's going to happen you're probably going to end up on the bench because your mental is not there, you're not focusing on the game, you're just sending yourself negative messages and it's affecting your game. That's the thing that most kids have that I have to work with and make them understand that it has nothing to do with your talent. Even though yesterday you were dropping trees like it was like butter. But now, the pressure's on, the defense is tight, the noise is there, what do you do to go over that? So I always tell them, put yourself like, I'm pretty sure you did that before with your brothers or with your sisters and cousins simulating the, the end of the game, fourth quarter, five seconds left. You have to make the shot. You have to make a play in order to win the game. And then you'd be like, five, four, three, two, and then you, you take the shot. And when it goes in, you'd be like, yeah, that's, that's a message. That's a message that you're sending to your brain and your brain sends the message to, your, to the rest of your body, your muscle. That's what we call muscle memory. But people don't understand the impact of the message which will allow you to go over, beyond the member mentality or that Michael Jordan killing zone that he, you know, he, he's the only one who can go those are like mental zone that you're going to be able to go when it's crunch time and that's what i'm trying to 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 push my player to go to it's to go into that zone you know sometimes you have a workout you train and you just don't feel it and then you miss your first 20 shots and you'd be like ah oh, whatever maybe maybe tomorrow no keep going and then after that, when they keep going, oh, they get back in the zone. One shot, two, three, four, five, ten in a row. And then, all right, I'm good. What you mean you're good? You're not good. You're not good. We're not done. Oh, because you made ten shots, you think that you're good? No. Keep going. This is where you will be able to reach that level. That next level, that zone when you see like guys shooting like crazy maniacs and they're making all the shots. Oh, he's hot. That's that zone. But in order to, to know when you're in that zone, you need to keep shooting when, you, when you, you're at your workouts. Oh, I made 10 shots in a row. I'm good. No, you keep going. Go to 20, 30 keep going you need to keep going in order to understand what it is to be in that zone and that's the mental toughness man when you get into that zone that's when you realize that oh this guy he's nothing to mess with that girl's nothing to mess with because when they get into that zone you can't stop them you want to be in that zone you need to work that you need to train that. you need to train that people say oh no you, you, that's something you can't teach but that's something you can learn from yourself by knowing when you're in that zone. When you, you're having those workouts, those training, even if it's with me, a trainer, or you're by yourself, eventually you will, you will know. You know? MJ knew when he, when he was in that zone. Kobe knew when he was in that member mentality. That's a zone that you, you feel when you train and you train and you keep training you know four or five even seven days a week you're on the court and you're training you're pushing yourself until it becomes 
easy game time it's easy i know i know because i've pictured it in my mind so many times that now when i see it i can close I, I can close my eyes and just do it because i've been doing it for the last two weeks i did it last yesterday did it last night i did it yesterday morning and now i know so even if the guy is in front of me i just have i just have that 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 chemistry with my brain in my body that it's whatever he that person is going to do he's not going to stop me you know and that's what I want to teach to these kids. That's what I want to make them understand. Like, you need to push yourself. When I tell them, I take 100 shots a day. And that's nothing because those NBA guys take 1,000. But to me, I realized that by doing that, well, consistency helps, right? Even if it's 100 or 50. Well, eventually, your mechanics is going to become more efficient but you need to do that and sometimes kids they they just put their money on their skills on their talent they just they just content with the team practices team practices is good because you're in the team right coaches have a plan you follow the plan for the practice when the practice is over you go home or the practice is over and then you stay and you pra and you work on yourself you work on your craft in order to be that guy to be the guy on the starting five to be the guy who's going to make the difference the guy that the coach is going to say hey this is the last play you you're going to have the ball so do something about it you know so you want to be that guy prepare yourself train yourself push yourself don't be sloppy and when you do those workouts, don't just go to the motions because you, you just know the drill. Knowing the drill is one thing. I mean, it's a good thing. I don't have to, to, to do all that talking all the time on the court when I'm with you. You just go, you just do it yourself. I'm just watching you, but I see the intensity. I see the fire in your eyes. I'd be like, oh, okay, he's in that zone. He's somewhere else. He's where he wants to be when that time's going to arrive for real. So he's going through the drill, but in his head, there's somebody in front of him. There's a defender right in front of him, and he's visualizing. He's picturing that person in front of him when he's doing all those, those dribbles drill, and he's like, okay, he, he's, he's trying to steal the ball. I react. He's trying to steal the ball again. Let me react, and he... He's responding to the pressure that he's putting to himself. So game times arrive. Easy, 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 easy. So, yeah, that's the message that I have. Like, it sounds like childish because when we were kids, we, 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 we used to do that, like putting ourselves in in a different world and I, I'm a superhero and I'm doing this but that's what I'm doing with these people say so, hey we're not training right what what's happening here is not training this is the actual game I'm your defender I'm gonna stop you I'm gonna block your shot I'm gonna steal the ball I'm gonna put you in a situation when after that two hours you're gonna be like man coach Max man y'all yo, man you, you, you're not fun man been you blocking my shot you, you pushing me to the ground stealing my ball and everything yeah well guess what a couple of weeks after that they'd be like hey i had a game last week and damn man i dropped 30 like oh did you there you go so that's that's how i approach it and that's how i want the people that i work with to 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 be right I want them to be assassins, killers. And the mental preparation to me is everything. Everything. Because sometimes I see potential, but I, I can see that the mental is somewhere else. And I always try to, to, to reach that for them to understand. Like, Because when, when they reach that zone, 
you can see the focus in their face you can see it in their eyes and i'll be like oh okay now now you now you got it now you understand and every time that you train you need to push yourself to reach that it's like reaching super saiyan right you try to get the blonde hair and the blue eyes like and then you level three level four you want to push yourself you want to you want to be able to reach it and reach it on the man that's how i push my people and that's how i approach the game even for myself when i train so that's pretty much that so i'm gonna leave you with that guys intensity intensity practice how you play practice how you play don't be no no sloppiness there's no sloppiness and always picture yourself and the most uncomfortable situation you could possibly be don't shoot just to shoot because you want the ball to go in so you can feel good about yourself put yourself in the most uncomfortable motion you can be so when the time comes it's cash all right so i hope you enjoyed the video like i said guys put your likes notifications subscribe there's more to come i'm coach max from the scorpion academy i hope to see you again guys keep the work man keep working